Hello, everybody! Hello. It is Saturday once again, so we were playing more Oath. Room in the back is a little bit of a mess because uh, it was my birthday on Wednesday. Got a ton of tabletop games, and that means I'm recording a ton of unboxings. So, working through that. Gonna be working on that after the stream as well, but not a lot else. Uh, I am finally a Twitch affiliate now. I actually, I put together, oh yeah, uh, if you do subscribe, which please consider doing so, it would help me out a great deal. Um, I do have custom emotes now, which you can check out around there. It's got the little lion mascot and everything. So if they look cool to you, you could consider subscribing, and I would definitely appreciate it. With all that said, I'm going to bring everybody else in here, and we'll start the game. All right. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Great. Good. How are you? Doing, doing well. Doing all right. Bit bit tired. I'm I'm very busy. It was my birthday on Wednesday. I got a ton of games that I'm recording unboxings for, because of it. Oh, awesome. Uh yeah, yeah. All right. Um, looks like who are we missing? There's someone else. Passer. Maybe. Chronicle. Are we doing Iggy? Uh, we are doing the castles in the sky. It might sky? be a bit further back than the one in the legacy chat. Because it is the one, the one that I was doing last in that chronicle. Uh, let me add passer to see. If he's still down. Are you still? Available for the game. Hold on. Hold on. That's the one. Alright, give him just a minute. Or them, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, I have not played with Passer yet. Um, right. I should bump the brightness on my stuff up real quick. All right, is everybody good with the colors and everything? Uh, Susudio, you okay with being Chancellor? Yeah, are we playing the, the same game from uh, last weekend? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then I'll just take the role. Cool. Yeah, I don't I don't mind playing Chancellor, but I don't know. I, I never feel like I get the hang of it. Well, it's my first time as Chancellor, so it's probably going to be awful. I mean, it's not that different. I, mm. You have less options for victory conditions, um, and citizenship can be a bit difficult to uh, strategize well, but um, it's it's not too bad, honestly. It's not super asymmetrical. Okay. I would say being citizen is one of the more difficult ones because it's very obvious what you're trying to do. So, generally, the Chancellor does not trust you, and you need them to if you want to be able to get anything done. Is uh, Blue going to be a citizen at the beginning? I think so. All right. Uh, here, I'll That's fine with up. me. Yep. Yes, Blue starts as a citizen. Um... The world deck looks pretty balanced in this chronicle so far. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't <clears throat> gone anywhere crazy quite yet. Um, it's early, so it unless somebody that is true. Yeah, there's a run on something in the mm. first few games, then it's mm, okay. Hey, uh, Blue, were you playing as Mister Steve last time? No, I've always been, but I played. I played with Mister Steve. Okay, it's just your your voice sounds similar. He said in the blue spot, so it's just checking. Oh no, different different guy. All right. <laughs> um. Okay, I think I think that's long enough. We'll do just the four player here. We'll have to catch catch them on a different stream. So let's set up. All right, everybody's happy with their color. Uh yeah, it looks for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I think, mm, nah, yeah, I'll go with white. We're doing protection. Play. All right. 
And then, friend, this is your first real game, right? Uh, yeah, I just uh, got walked through uh, a lot of stuff um, an hour before, but um, just a question with setup. I just pick a card in my hand and add it face up to my advisors. Is that right? Uh, face down to your face advisors. Down. Yes, and then wait to discard until we've uh, until we've gone through it. Let's let's just go with clockwise turn order. I think I don't mind being last. Works for me. Yeah. And blue, yellow, white. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go in turn order, placing the pawns that we know where to discard out to. Oh, wow. Oh, all four of those. Uh, all four of those yeah. ruins. That's rough. Um. Oh, yeah. And got to start with three war bands on the board. Then I... Ooh. Oh, I got some good stuff here. Um, Iggy, do I have any other uh, presents on the board of four bands? I don't know what the initial setup is. Uh, you would have two in the top cradle site, and then okay. one, one in everywhere each, else. Yeah, one in each with a denizen. These ruins, you do not start with one. Not the not the so. yeah. Got it. If these were edifices, you would start there. All right. So just in the cradle. All right. Yep. Um, and then, let's see, start with Oathkeeper, start with the Grand Scepter. Uh, oh, right, we gotta feed the people's favor and Darkest Secret. That is always the easiest step to miss. Okay, all of those are set. Anything else here? Uh, I guess I gotta figure out where I'm gonna start. Where where can pawns uh start exile pawns? Any any face up any site. place any face up site. Okay. I will start at the ancient city. Probably start at the plains. If that works. Sure. Um. All right, and then uh, Chancellor, you pick your card and discard. I still have to. Does that I work? still have to. Yeah, I was looking at the setup. Okay. I should probably zoom in. There we go. Okay, I still, and, still have to. Uh, yeah, I probably should have been the first one to be, but yeah. Well, it's it's yeah. It's mainly where your pawn is just affects where you're gonna discard. Where you're gonna discard? Yeah. Okay, so I discard my hand to the hinterland then. Uh, yes. Always one out, and the hinterland wraps around to the cradle. Gotcha. I didn't know that applied during setup. So, all right, yep. cool. Yep. Yeah, that's why you gotta. It always do it applies. In yep. yep. Whoa, come on, give me the, give me the cards. There we go. And mine will go out to the cradle, and then Susudio will start round one. All right, sounds good. Um, in the salt flats, they don't start with any um. Oh, they do stuff yes. on it. They do. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Let's pop and that always comes from the bank, the favor, right? Mm -hmm. Or that, I mean, the that always bank. comes from the from the bank. Yep. The big. All right. And then you will get one of those on your first turn here. Whatever you like. Does that happen at the? I know what he's taking. I know what he's taking. Yeah, it's, <laughs> during your wake phase, if you were there, you get one of those items of your choice. Waking up. All right. All right. Um, I'll take a. I'll take a secret. Yeah, yeah. That's the smart choice. It's just so much more valuable. 
Yeah. Um, I'm going to use two favor. Um, do I want to do that yet? Yeah, and I'll just search. Oh, is there a vision just on top? Uh, yep. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to then. Yeah, okay. I might hold off uh, just for a minute on that. I mean, you could always search the discard. There are three in the cradle right now. Mm -hmm. I'll hold off on the search for now. Um, I will... Um, and just to make sure on the rule, uh, I can exchange my advisors at any time except for the ones that are locked, right? Yes, and you can right. discard any face up or any face down advisor can be discarded at any time in your action phase as a minor action. Once they're face up, you have to replace them in a search action to get rid of them. Cool. Okay. Um, I will just uh, flip this over. Um, and okay. I will trade uh, for one supply uh, with the armed mob. Mm. And um, I will get two favor from Hearth. Um, then I will go ahead and use, how much does it cost? Uh, one supply to muster on battle honors and i'm going to pull out two ward bands i'm just going to put them directly on the salt flats sure um then i'm going to use uh one supply to move my pawn to lush coast um and there i will um uh, Can I? I can't use a roving tear if there's not a denizen at a spot, right? No, it has to replace something. Got it. All right. All right. Then I will go ahead and um, I'll muster on roving tear. I'm gonna put those warbands directly on the site. Um, then I'm going to use two uh, supply, and I'm going to a little jaunt over to here. Okay. And I will flip that over. The standing stones, which gets a relic. Nice. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take a little peek. A little peek at that relic. Yeah. All right. Um, and this is anytime I put a uh, arcane card here, I'll get a uh, secret, yes. right? Okay. Um, and then I will go ahead and search for my last two at the provinces. Okay. All right, and I will. I'll put a fire talkers on the site, and I get a book and a money, right? Yep. And a money from uh, RK. Yep. All right, and I am done. Okay. And to be clear, because the bandits rule that site, that's technically their card, but because it costs mm -hmm. something, they won't use it in their campaign. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to flip this thing right away. Ooh. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh-oh. Damn it. <laughs> it was not locked. <laughs> that was an well, accident. Uh -oh. All right, it's fine. I'll take care of it. Let's, yeah. Scoot yeah. those out of the way. Nope, we have to do the cleanup on the. Oh, oh yeah. Nile five. Yeah. So you get your secret back, and I'll swim down back here. Up. Lock okay. standing stones while we're at it. Or oh, make sure that's locked. 
Okay, so... Okay. I will spend one trade with... So then I get two, correct? Because of the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Big troop. And... Then I will trade again with the beast for one secret. Thanks to the acting troop. Yeah. Then two to search this card. This one. Get rid of these two. Then I will spend two to travel to the standing stones. Whoop. Yeah, that blue I'm just, I'm just following blue the line. chancellor around doing his bidding. Hey, Blue, real quick, did you give me any money uh, for trading? Uh, I, I rule it also, don't I? I'm uh, not sure on that. Because I'm yeah, not you're an, not, I'm not, you're not considered an enemy because you are a citizen. Citizens are part I'm of I'm your the... pal. Got it, enemies. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, okay, so I moved here. Now I'm going to play this one here. Which gives me a favor for playing. Ooh. And it gives me a secret because it's their home. Oh, playing that to a site. That's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, peek at this. And I don't want to do anything else. Not especially. So I go where the Chancellor is, plus one that I have left over. My secret back. Go to the Beast. And I am done. All right. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to start uh, searching in my discard. Those ruined edifices have some interesting effects so far. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be tricky. Um so just as a general question, um can I use uh denizen cards at sites that someone else rules if my uh pawn is there? Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. the main thing is you can't use battle plans someone else rules. And if someone rules it and their pawn isn't there, they can still use it. So the Chancellor can use all of these cards without needing to move his pawn over there. 
But yeah, everything else, if you're able to pay and everything, and your pawn is at the site, you're allowed to use it. Yep. You can use what's in your hand, in your advisors. You can use what where you are, and you can use whatever else you rule on the board. Oh, right. gotcha. Uh, okay, um, so I'm going to reveal small friends. Um, then I think I'm going to travel. Does the forest temple? What's that? Does the forest temple pre prevent that? Does it? Uh, um, no one. Yes. Whoa. Yeah, because the bandits. So the bandit is their bandits. Enemy. Yep. Unfortunately, you can't play oh, okay. that until, unless you rule the hidden place. Oh, and that's a terrible place for that to be. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. <laughs> yes, it's oh, awful. Boy. <laughs> huh. Okay. Not play. All right. Wish I read that, but that's fine. Um. Uh huh. Wow, that <laughs> that that uh definitely impacts my actions here. Um, I might just want to go rule that then. Um, it costs uh, I have to place a secret there to. Uh, no, I have to flip have a secret to, over. You have to flip a secret to move there, and then you have to flip one to campaign. So if you want to try and take it, you'll need at least two secrets. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. All right. It's real rough. Yeah, that is an issue. Um, I think I'm just going to um, move to this center area then. And then I'll get to flip that over, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, then lock it back up. All right, so that gets ruined. Down. Yes, one ruin. Awesome. Um, I think I'm going to do a move. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's said a lot in this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I, I feel it for sure. Um, boy, that forest temple. Yeah, with, I mean, acting troop is especially useful here because that means you can, yeah, like, you can have a beast card without having a beast card. Um, let's see. I think I'm just going to... See, I, if I trade with a secret, I still get at least one favor, right? Yes. I think I have to do that, so. Um, I will just move to the tribunal. Okay, and to be clear, the ruins you cannot trade with. Okay, then, I won't do that. That's if you um, look in the, uh, the top left, yeah. of them, you cannot trade or muster on a ruin. My goodness. Okay. Um, then I will go to uh, over If you end your turn up in the salt flats, you'll get a free money next time. Really? Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, then that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, then I'll, I'll... 
any of the uh, sites like that that have the favor or the secrets on them, if you start your wake phase on that site and there's still something there, you get one of your choice. Okay, awesome. I assume that applied to rule, so mm -hmm. that sounds good to me. Yeah, um, no, it's just I will... pawn. And I will just take a card from, or a favor from Hearth, then. Um, and then I think I will muster. Um, okay. Okay. And that'll be the end of my turn. All right, do your uh, clean up. Comes <clears throat> And hit uh, next turn. Yep, thank you for sending through that. Hey, okay. friend, did you just trade with Farm to Mob? Uh, yes, does something happen? All right, I get a, I get a coin oh, because yeah, of curfew. Because of curfew. Oh, okay. I thought that only applied to the one area. It's yeah. every side I rule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, it helps. These little signs here, the ones that are black, um, are universal. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so I just give you a favor then. Yeah. I'm Thanks for the favor. Start out by searching the hinterland. Uh, I believe that's what I want. No, that's not what I want. Uh, mm, no, not that one. Ooh. Yeah, I will. I will keep this one. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's fine. Those go out to the cradle. And then I am going to campaign against the bandits at the ancient city. I, I will use all three. They will get the one die. Here we go. And I lose one of my guys. They have two, and I have three, so I do win that. I'm going to put both of my guys down. All right. And then I'm going to play longbows to the site, which gets me an order favor. And it gets me, because of the homeland ability, two more bands. Then I am going to trade with longbows for one more favor. And I will recover this relic. I haven't actually looked at it. Maybe I should. Oh, okay, yeah, that is that is a good one. Cool. And oh, then, yeah, yeah. these three favors go to order. And anything else I can do? Uh, no, not as of yet. So I will just save this supply, which means I go back up to full, and I take my secret back, and that is my turn. Round two. Alright, my turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with uh, mustering on the fire talkers. Um, I'm then going to campaign against uh, the bandits at the standing stones. Sure. And they only roll one die with a defense of one. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah, and they use any free battle plans at the site, but none of them there are free, so. Cool. All right, so I'm rolling five. Uh, who wants to roll for the bandits? 
Uh, I mean, you can just roll for them. Just add it in. <laughs> it's fun to roleplay, though. All right, here we go. Uh... Yes, it is. Whoop. All right, and you got three versus their one. So you win. Cool. I'm going to drop three of my bad boys on here. Um, sorry, I didn't move my supply for that, so it was two for that. Okay. Um, I am going to use um, uh, the alchemist. So I'm going to put one secret on here. I'm going to burn the other one. Oh, boy. And I'm going to take some money. I mean, that beast bank is looking real full. Yeah, I know. You can hey, you're uh, you can take from whichever. It can be a mix. Yeah. I'll, I won't drain the economy yet. Um, okay. There we go. It happened pretty fast with Alchemist. Yeah, I know. Are you having flashbacks to the last game? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to peek at this ruin again. I forgot what it is. Uh, someone um, in the chat shit. asked, what Oath Keeper goal are we playing? We are playing the Oath of Protection. Which is holding the most relics and banners. Uh, successor is holding the people's favor. Which we are playing with a citizen that's blue. So we will likely see some of that happening later. Although, with the economy that the Chancellor is building up, it's going to be tricky to keep the people's favor away from him. Okay, I, I should be here with the last action I'm going to do, which is recover. Yeah, I'd recommend tr trying to do it before you do the action. It makes it a little easier to keep track of, but... Totally. I was just a little rusty at the beginning of the game. Um, it's everybody, like, forgets yeah, that. Yeah. And then they're like, well... Uh, well, your, your brain gets... Your, you're not focused on the mechanics so much as, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I mean, the supply, it feels like almost yes. busy work, so... Yep. All right, and uh, no, uh, nothing personal here, Captain Badger, but Blue, I'm going to use uh, my charming friend over here to uh, negotiate with you and take a favor. That's wonderful. Yep, anytime. Uh, you know, just a light tax for being part of my kingdom yes. and using my troops. Oh, yes. you know? oh, wow, with that too. If Blue makes a move for successor, it's going to be real difficult while you have that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to clean up, uh, and that's the end. Okay. Yeah. So. Have to figure out how to do this. And no one wants that vision, do they? <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens anytime the vision starts on top. It's like nobody yeah. wants to... Even though it's only two supply at the beginning, it's like nobody really wants it that badly. Okay. This has to be done or, or we're all dead. So I'm going to use this guy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send him over here and get rid of Alchemist. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you, you made him so you can unmake him? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I mean, he's still in the still in that discard. 
waiting to get Yeah, back. he is. Well, he won't be for long. Now I'm just going to have to figure out which, where I want to go. <laughs> I will spend two to travel here. I will spend two to search. I wonder what could be in here. Yeah, that the, there. The alchemist well, can be pretty let's powerful. Let's not be coy. Let's not be coy. Yeah. Okay. You gotta have like a pretty decent secret engine. Um, yeah. I don't know if the old oak is still in this deck somewhere, but that would definitely be pretty useful. I will use this. So put one there. Throw one out. Yeah, if we hung out the fire talkers, he could get two secrets every time he traded. Hmm. So now I can take four. Yep. Two, three. Whoo, hearth and order already emptied. Four. I will spend my last two to search again. Hmm. Interesting. Which one do I want to keep? Yeah, you only have the one advisor slot still open, so... Very particular. This is an evil, evil thing to do, but I'm going to do it. No. No. Gossip. So nobody can play face down advisors because the bandits. <laughs> Oof. Well, I get one favor for that. Nobody can play face a beast. So this is. Except me. I can, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. This is great. <laughs> and I'm going to look at this uh, one wait, no, here. No, no, no. No, nobody can Why play can face of beast. Nobody rules the hidden place. If you're true. Okay, so I go back to where my chancellor's at. I get my secret back. Here. Here. And I end my turn. All right. All right. So I get a favor from the salt flats. Yep. Great, because we play at this favor game, economy. Mr. Chancellor. <laughs> yeah, y'all are going with the economy game. Well, after uh, opening our antique store, uh, we've done very well for ourselves. So mm -hmm. we've gone into late stage capitalism pretty quickly. <laughs> what we need is the gambling hall. Oh my god, I love Ooh. the gambling hall. <laughs> I've seen that card. That's that's that one's very exciting. Yeah, I don't think any Discord has really been added to this chronicle quite yet, but I, I'm gunning for it. If I win, that's definitely what I'm going for. Um I'm going to move back to the plains. And I think I'm gonna campaign there. Okay. Um so the bandits will Remove two of my attack dice, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but you get 
You get plus one for the planes, right? Yeah. So yeah, you, okay. you get whatever you pick, plus one, minus two. So basically just minus one. Okay. Um, well, I think I'm going to do... I guess I'll do three then. Is that... Okay. Or four, I'll do four. Four seems four. fine. Okay, so you'll end up with three dice. Yeah. Um, yes. And yeah, they get the one. I'll roll them first. All right. Nothing. So they got one. Nicely done. And you got three. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. That was like an ideal roll. Wow. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm going to put two down here. Sure. Yeah, however many you like. You can do all of them. Or just one. Right. has to be at least one, though. So do everyone who campaigns in the planes, they get plus one? Yes. Yeah, whoever okay, so that kind is of... attacking, even if it's against the person who rules it. Okay. Gotcha. Um, well, then I will go to the Lush Coast. And as a minor action, I will play the key to the city. Ooh, all right. So I get to destroy these three warbands. Oh. Oh, I gain a worm band as well. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, you gain it and immediately put it there. But that's it. It's not a campaign, so you don't get any further war bands. But as a minor action, you can put any war bands from your board to there. So, yeah. Uh, oh, and you do get a Discord favor because you played a Discord Oh, yes. Card. Thank you very much. Um... <laughs> um. So, yeah, feel free to drop any further war bands on there. Minor action. Yeah. Um, put down. Oh, now you have gossip. Yes. Oof. Okay. Um, or curfew. Curf sorry. Go yes. Gossip is this one over in the. Yeah, they the both country. suck. They're similar. <laughs> In that they yeah. both really, really uh, limit people's opportunities. But now the empire's open for business, basically. Whereas before. True. Yeah. Um, I think I will then uh, just gain the one favor from trade. So that goes up one. And then I'm going to muster. Doesn't matter where. All right, and then I just clean all that up. That goes to order. Uh, Lord of the Board in the chat asks if this is two-player. We're actually doing four-player. Uh, it was going to be five, but somebody dropped out or forgot or something, which is fine. It happens. Four is still a pretty solid game. Do you prefer it with more? Uh, you know, it feels totally different at each player count, I would say. I think four is the ideal, but then six is actually incredibly fun and a lot faster than you'd expect. So I definitely recommend trying out a six-player game at least once. Hmm. Now, what am I going to do? I don't actually have a ton of options way out here, so I should probably get headed back to civilization. Uh... Oh, what? Mm. If I do that, then okay. I am going to. What was this? That was that. Okay. Ah, what can I even do with that though? Hmm. I am going to start by trading with longbows for a. Order favor, the only order favor. Then I'm going to spend, wait, I need to spend four to hop back to the cradle. Oof. And. Expensive. Yeah, I'm not really in a great position here. Uh, 
You know, actually, let's step back a little bit. I'm just going to spend two to move to the mountain. See what they got going on. Hmm. Okay. And I'm going to spend two to search the only provinces. Is it any good? Uh. I will hang on to that for later. Hmm. Asap Asap doesn't let you put it face down, I think. What's that? Oh yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> I'll play it face up then. It's traveling doctor. Yep. Yep, whatever. And then I'm going to spend the last two to take that vision that nobody wants. Traveling doctor is a pretty good card. It is. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just wasn't sure if I'd want to save it so I could get a hearth favor. Yep. Um. Okay. And then, yeah, I guess I'll hang on to this vision. It's early enough in the game. Let's scoot these out of the way. Does that also fall under the gossip rule? Uh, oh. Yeah, I guess it does? Oh, oh boy. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I, don't yeah. think, <laughs> I don't think I really have any way to get it right now since there's only one favor pulled from the deck, but it's Rebellion. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it or not. I, it seems yeah, like it's going to be too what, difficult what is to it? keep it from you guys. Yeah. But uh, I'll hang on to it for now. Um, okay, and that's yeah, that is my turn. Nine plus. So when are you allowed to get rid of your vision? Just when you play a new one? Yeah, it's like the Denison yep. cards. You can just replace it with a different vision, or you can I believe just discard it at any time. Is that right? I think so. Hold on. I think so. Uh, okay, I will look cool. into that. It is Susudio's turn, so let me... I'll look up the rule while he takes that. Oh, people's favorite. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, I will use two supply. Uh, I'm going to meander over to the mountain, see what's going on there. Uh, I'm going to peek at this relic. Um, and I will use one to recover. So I'm going to burn two favor, everyone's favorite thing to do. And I'm going to gain this. Okay, and it's uh, the can't, Book of Records. You what? can't just uh, discard a vision outright, but you are allowed to replace it with a new vision anytime you draw one. Okay, thank you. Cool. Um, and then I am going to use one uh, to recover the Darkest Secret. Okay. So I put two on there, and then I take one. Right. Whoa. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yep, and you remain Oathkeeper. By a yep. lot. By a lot, <laughs> yeah. By a lot. Um, do, 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 do. And I think that, uh, can I do any other shenanigans? No. Oh, yep, I'm going to use. <laughs> Charming friend, uh, Iggy, uh, buddy, I'm gonna take Come a favor. On. Okay, <laughs> is that one? Yeah, that's my only one. Ah, I'll curses. leave you with nothing. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna... that's what friends are for. That's what friends are for, especially charming ones. All right, I'm gonna be done. Uh, I'll clean up. All right. All right, I will. I will spend one to recover for a cost of three order. Two, three. This guy. Popo plenty. And. Boy, that's handy for you with your. Uh, yes, it, yes it is. Yes, it <laughs> is. So, um, 
I will spend two to travel over here. Uh, I don't want to do this. I will trade with the fire talkers for one secret. I will turn around and use my alchemist. Yeah, drain that economy. Yeah, yeah. The bay. Income redistribution. Is it really redistributing if it's all going back <laughs> to the empire? Exactly, it's redistributing it back to the empire. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, technically. <laughs> I mean, it's not your favorites, are oh, right. The recovered rank. It's uh, supply side economics. Because we're, we're providing you the jobs, really. We need all the money. Hmm. Yeah, it's all going to trickle down, right? Yeah, exactly. Just wait for <laughs> us to I urinate will... on you, and then, uh, then you'll feel it. <laughs> then I will trade for no supply, thanks to my cup of plenty, with Beast. Or two. Oh wow. Oh wait, did you get the cup of plenty? Oh there it is. Yeah. Yes I did. Okay. Yeah, Napson in the chat, who is Nicholas and the Woodland Warriors, uh keeps reminding me to zoom in on all of those so that the the stream can see them. Which I appreciate. Not meant as a criticism, but that that is true. I need to be better about that. Yeah. Do I want to do? I will spend my last two travel back to the salt flat. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I can do? Uh, yeah, I can. There are things I can do here. I just, uh, and I think I'll do it because Blue. none of us really like none of us really like that charming friend very much. When you when you traded with fire talkers, did you get two secrets below? No, I just I just got one. You, you, got two. Two. you have acting troop and alchemist, so you should have gotten. Yeah, two. doesn't acting troop only? It's it's all three. It counts as three different suits. Oh, it counts as three. Yeah, yeah that's what makes it kind of broken. It's a really good card. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was in instead. No, it, well, it counts as well, half of the suits in the game. Yeah, you don't have to apply any of the modifiers. They're always optional. Really? Oh. I did not know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Thank uh, you for that uh, reminder in but the chat. Anyway. Anyway. Um, the charming friend. What's up? Goes goodbye. <laughs> Oops. Bye. <laughs> You use the iron mob. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that, that's fine. I'll get him back. You probably will, but um, I guess that's it. So this goes to the hearth. These go to arcane. Comes to me. Whoops! Not the whole thing. Comes back to me, hit the button, and I'm done. Okay, yellow. Um, 
Chancellor has gotten pretty well ahead of us, so yeah, it, it is only round three, but with the four relics and banners, we should really try and take some of those relics back. You have a pretty decent military force, and I'm going to work on building mine up to also try and take at least one back, but yeah, I, I would personally recommend trying to take at least one of those relics on this turn. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's something I'll I'll consider then. Um, although, <laughs> keep in mind, uh, uh, fire talkers is a little scary. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is rough. He has to spend a secret on it though. True. Um, so, uh, I mean, just talking out loud. If I wanted to do that, I would have to move to his spot right yes his site. oh and he's in and the then... mountains you'd lose a, a die for that Oof. yeah so that'd be minus four which at best would give me like one or two to take it and he's got two war bands as it is so that'd yes. be really expensive for me yeah that would be very rough uh you know maybe maybe not i guess i'd recommend just building up your military then so that we have yeah we have any shot at keeping him from winning on round five and onward I think that yeah, I think that's sort of the angle I'm 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 trucking for here. Um, also, uh, keep in mind if you take the relics, you you are going against a defense die on there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's all but impossible at this point. Um, I guess there's also there is the relic out at the hidden place in the hinterland, but you need to get at least one more secret to take it. Yeah, I, I, I that's actually been sort of my my hope at this point um so in order to do that i'm going to need uh some more cards so i'm going to spend two supply to search the discard oh and i have to play these face up yeah yeah, yeah, gossip is pretty tricky. I mean, everybody has to play him face up, unfortunately, since that was played to a bandit site. It was evil, but... A little bit. <laughs> uh, there, I think, I think that's no, work for me, though. There are no uh, secrets in this empire. I'll, I'll play military Ooh. parade to myself. I think it was very strategic and a good move. <laughs> yeah. I had a I had a reason for doing it. I mean, I benefit from it. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to give me enough to get at least one secret going here. Um, let's see. Boy, there's just not a lot of money going around. Um, no, it's a very tight economy. Hoarding <laughs> it, the Empire. Yes, the Empire. In that case, I'm going to spend two supply to move to the Standing Stones. Okay. And... I'll just take the one favor from Arcane with trade. For one. Um, and that's me done, so. I'll sit there, I'll pull that out. And I'll keep it moving here. Okay. Uh, I don't have a ton of options right now, so my first step is just going to be looking for some cards. Going to spend three to pull from the world deck. Come on. Give me some good. Oh, no. That would have been a really good one. Any other time. Ah, shoot. Uh, that's not super helpful either. Well, 
Yeah, that one's okay. I'm going to play Memory of Home to my site, which gets me a hearth favor. And then these will be discarded out to the hinterland. And I will... Uh, yes, I will use that one to muster on Memory of Home. Uh, give me two from the bag. Come on. Out of the, out of the bag. There we go. And then I will campaign... Not against the Chancellor. I was going to say, that's way, that's wicked expensive. Yeah, I'm just going to campaign against the bandits for the mountain. And mm, do I want the hidden place too? Oh. Yes. Yes, I will campaign against both of those. I'll flip a secret. So I get my four dice. They get two. A little risky. But that's not too bad. Come on. Select all of them. Rolling it. And I'm activating uh, Traveling Doctor. Should I lose? Oof. Okay, uh, they get two. I won there. I lost two of my guys, unfortunately. Or, wait, I think... Let me double check. No, I was not defeated. defeated. So Traveling Doctor doesn't activate. Ah, no, in the bag, in the bag. All right, and then I can drop one of my guys on each of those to rule them. It does not want to go in the bag. <laughs> it doesn't. I don't know what's with it. Is. The bags are very finicky at the best yeah. of times. Uh, okay, all that. I have 10, so I go back up to there. That is my turn. Round four. Moving right along. Yeah. Efficient. I guess I didn't realize you could uh, uh, campaign against the bandits in multiple sites, but that does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, it, as long as you target the site you're at, you can target any other site that the person who rules that site rules. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh... Okay, I'm going to spend two, and I will search this pile in the provinces. I'm going to step away for just a moment to grab some more water. Be right back. Yeah. Cool.
Um, I can re-recover it. Oh, and okay. If, just to just uh, sort of like just buy, the, buy it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just buying it back. Uh, you know, buying back my stock options. Just keeping the wealth to myself. You know. Okay, I can recover this final favor from Salt Flat. Whoops! I accidentally muted you guys for the stream. All they oh, heard no, is the clicking of the favor. For the whole game. No, no, no! Just for this just, last bit while I was one. away. Oh, I meant okay. to mute myself, but I accidentally muted the entirety of Discord. Okay. Um... I'll spend two to search that discard pile. rid of that one put this one here and it's got to be face up but I don't care so um, I will spend two to travel and now I can do a bunch of free trading <laughs> I will trade with the fire talkers or two secrets. Rara. Do the alchemist thing. Oh boy. That alchemist, if you can get a good secret engine going, is just so overpowered. Which, what was it? That last game I played of this, I was able to get a great engine going with the alchemist, so I had like 10 favor at one point, but I had nothing I could do with it. It was everything was locked off. I couldn't get the people's favor or anything. Oh my god. <laughs> so much cold. So much. <laughs> it's, just, it's just stupid. <laughs> See, you're in a similar situation. Keep in mind, too, it's um with the Hall of Mockery, like the people's favor is gonna automatically Auto yes. go to the mob site anyway, so you may as well just put whatever you want on it. Um, unless uh, you roving, can you do a roving terror on that? No, the you can't do it on chain stuff. Oh, okay. It's almost not worth Am I allowed to peek at the other side of the broken forge? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's not hidden information, it's a, really. It's a it's a relic manufactory, basically. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's real expensive though. So that would mostly help the Empire right now with their, their huge economy. Yeah. Plus, I'm sure it makes you a target because people would want to take that site from you. Yeah, definitely. Especially in a protection game. Although, if we were able to do that, it would definitely change up, change up the dynamic here. Yeah. Uh, 
spend my last two to travel to the hidden place, which means I have to flip a secret. Yep. I'm going to peek at this thing. I don't know if anybody's looked at this one yet. No, nobody's headed out to the hidden place yet. It's real, real pricey. Of course, some people have the luxury of affording it, but... Yeah. Some empires, at the very least. <laughs> grab. I, I, no, I can't. I don't, I'm out of supply, so I can't grab that. Yeah, um, not this turn. Do I want a roving terror anything? Roving terror. I'm going to get rid of memory of home. Oh, come on. <laughs> wasn't doing me any good anyways. And that is the that is the end of my turn. Bring that back. Flip this over. Go to Arcane. Oh boy. Invest in Arcane. All right. What is the plan? I got like the faint outlines of a plan right now. Um, I think I think I could take a relic this turn. Okay. Um, boy, that fire talkers, huh? Uh. So if, for example, I targeted the Book of Records, um, yep. is that that would be the two die results plus the two on the board, the two warbands on the board for the yes, total value? Yes, and uh, it would also be one more as Oathkeeper, so he would get three die plus two. Three die plus two, okay. Yep. And whatever battle plans. Which, remember, you have... Book burning, so you could you could knock out his secrets. Hey, 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 that's true. Just targeting, but targeting a relic doesn't qualify as targeting a pawn, right? It does. Yeah, that's different. Mm, because to I'm target sure a pawn, you have the... to do the banish, which is another plus two. I'm pretty yeah. sure targeting the pawn counts as targeting anything around their player board as well. Let me double check that. It's a separate, it's a separate line yeah. item under number two. Of the yeah, it, it certainly looks like a different target. Oh, and I can only target the relic if I'm at the pawn mm -hmm. site. Yes, you have, to, okay. you have to be there. Yep. Hmm. So that would be a, that would be a full turn commitment to get oh, okay. one. Yeah, yeah. One. It doesn't specifically say the pawn. Although, okay. as, as Cole pointed out in one of the live streams... Uh, one of the most underused actions is to banish someone's pawn. Pawn, yes. Especially here, because like you knock out half their favor. So if we were to say hit Badger with that, you'd be losing four favor. Right. That'd be pretty nice. Um, where does that favor go? Does it get burned? Uh, good. I believe it's burned. Yeah. Yeah. It's burned. <laughs> yeah it's let's game. do that. Yeah. yeah. Go, Joker. <laughs> Just burn it up. <laughs> um. Hmm. Ooh, scary stuff. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna muster. That's one supply. 
I'm going to travel to the hidden place. Flipping over a secret. Okay. I think, um, I mean, I either recover, well, I'm going to peek at the relic. It's decent. It's not terrible. No, it's pretty good. Uh, so it's a matter of if I want to pick that up or if I want to hit you. Um... Uh, I think I do want to campaign against the blue pawn. Okay. I, I, just, I just think that would be more interesting. Yeah, but, let's do it. And yeah, he gets <laughs> two die for the pawn. Plus any battle plans that the Chancellor allows him to do. Oh, that I allow him to do? Yeah, of technically he art? has to get your permission. But oh, that's, oh, that's even better. Lines. I'm actually um, busy right now. I'm out in Versailles, <laughs> um, enjoying my summer home. So um, I can't busy myself with the day to day goings on. But I definitely don't want him to use any of my battle plans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Sorry, Blue. You're on your own. Well, th there's not really much I could do anyway, right? It's this. I don't have the darkest secret. Okay. Right. Um, I guess that, yeah, like, I guess he wouldn't be at it. Bat battle honors. Can I just do I need his permission for that since yeah, I also it's, a, it's it, an or? imperial one, so he has to permit it. All right, uh, you don't need any more money, you're fine. <laughs> There's only one to take. I will use my horse archers, okay? Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna use all of my war bands for this, so all right, that'll give me minus those two. three, so that's two. Yep. And then uh, blue also gets two. So even though I lost die, I can still sacrifice warbands to increase yep. my speed, yeah, right? Yeah, you can sacrifice okay. as many as are, are, are on your board. It's just what you Because that's probably what's going, what we're going to have to do here. All right, so 2v2. Two do you want to roll your defense die first? Uh, technically, you roll them at the same time, I think. But... Oh, is that right? Yeah. I mean, I, okay. either way works, as long as they both I have, get rolled. I have five. Okay. Uh, well, no, you only get two. <laughs> two plus my three. Two plus three warbands. Yeah, well, no, I mean uh, yellow, because you can only do up to five, and he used horse archers, which subtracts three. Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, crap. That uh. okay. So, yep, that's four, which, uh, yeah, you lose two guys right off. And you need to sacrifice two more to win. So just if you get rid of four and leave your one, then you will win here. Yeah, I mean, I'll do that. Yes. Oh, and uh, don't forget, uh, you got to flip your other secret for campaigning mm -hmm. in this hidden place. Oh, okay. Is it round up or round down on the burn? Uh, rounded down. Down. So these okay. four are going to the junk heap. Yes. And I also he rule gets... book burning. Uh, oh, so, yeah. yes. You have yeah, to burn yeah, yeah. all burning. but one secret. So... Oh, dang! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, and then uh, you get to decide where the blue pawn gets sent off to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the, uh, the secret on the alchemist should have been on your board, right? Because you didn't play that. Yeah. But I... Did I just throw out two, or...? You threw out two. Yeah, it's all but your Is last. Is it all but the last one? Okay. Oh, yeah, all but one. Oof. That's rough. And, yeah, you get to do, uh, you get to decide where the blue goes, and you get to do military parade. Uh, awesome, Which, yeah. So, since he that's... only has the one. 
Yeah, because that only applies during trade, so I'll just take that. Yeah. Still. That's that's um do you have to burn you have to burn war bands or Oh yes, you yeah, to, and he loses, you have to lose war bands. Lose, lose down, one war bands. Okay. Um and then I don't know, where's a good place to send you? Um I think I'll put you in the lush coast. Uh so I think that'll be fine. Get you away from the relic and Maybe you'll want to trade with my curfew. Um, Not likely. <laughs> <laughs> but that is definitely all I can do on my turn, so I will pass along here. Okay. Uh, my plan here. Not a lot towards my actual victory condition or anything. But I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to spend two to hop over to the salt flats. That's not your pawn. Whoops, you're right. Yeah. Hey, no. I I play the chancellor pretty often, so. Did you take did you take a uh, a favor for your military parade? I did. Yes. I took it out of arcane. Uh okay. oh, you own curfew, so yeah, I can trade here without problem. So I'm going to do that. Trade with armed mob. Uh, well, never mind. I will not trade with armed mob because that will be a waste of time. I will trade with battle honors, I suppose. And then I'm going to flip dazzle, which gets rid of all of the order and hearth cards oh. in the cradle. Oh, dang. Okay. Open that right up. Oh, and I do get my secret back, but it's flipped since I reused it. All right. And yeah, I'm going to spend three to search the world deck. Oh. Yep, there's a vision. Pop it along. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, and I will play this here to get one from Arcane. And we will discard this. That's handy. And that that will be my turn. So let's clean up. This should have gone back. Um, move that along, and my supply goes back up to 9+. plus. Round 5. We can't do anything here. They're gonna start rolling. Oh boy! All right. God, this is brutal. Okay. Gonna search the provinces. And I'll play down armed mob. All right. Um, and then I will go ahead and oh, dang, it's brutal. Um, I get a uh, what's it called? Uh secret for that from the book of records oh yep uh yeah instead of uh, a favor yeah okay and how do you get money if it's all in one bank jeez i don't know you guys are the ones who force it all into one bank <laughs> so, seems like your problem. I mean, you got okay. a charming friend, and you got uh, what's this other extra provisions? Extra provisions costs though. 
but I, I yeah it's incorrect uh man what else to do Yeah, I'll spend two supply and just search the world deck. Oh, I forgot to flip my secret. Um, ah, dang it. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, press pre press gangs. Oh. Uh. Oh my goodness. Um, and I will. Ah, dang it! I don't want to do that. This is really tough. I need money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I will go ahead and uh, muster one on the uh, roving terror. Actually, on armed mob, and I'll get two orbits. And then I will uh, spend one secret on, nope, not on that, on uh, Roving Terror. And I'll move Roving Terror over to Magician's thing and discard it. Okay. And I think, yeah, that was my last supply. So, and I'm done. Okay. Uh, I will spend two to travel. I will go to the standing stones. I will spend two to search. Play the magician's code there, which gets me a favor, mm. and it also gets me a secret. Oh wow! Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I will trade. And this doesn't cost me any supply because I got a couple plenty, so I will trade with him for three. <laughs> and I will trade with him for three. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> and I will spend the last to recover the people's favor. There it is. <laughs> yeah, well, I was wondering when that was going to happen. How many are you going to put on it? Uh, yeah, All of them. I have to, now I have to figure out how many do I want to put on there. I mean, if you hang on to even three favor, you still have a ton of options. Which would put what, a nine on it. I don't think Jeez. any of us are going to be able to do anything about that. No, no nine is an absurd amount. Yeah, I'll put nine on there okay, because and then why not? Put that one on there wherever you like. It should be on its mob side as well. Yes, it has to go to the mob side. And then this goes to one with the least. Nope, that's only if it's being uh, if if you are removing it during your wake phase. When you recover it, it's your choice. <laughs> one, two. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and nine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, not much we can um, do about that. To be honest, I don't know how we're going to do anything about the Empire at this point. But Absolutely. No, no, I, no I idea. Just, uh, yeah, I just got such a slow start. and I, I, I definitely flubbed my first advisor as well. So, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's mainly just the the Chancellor was able to get such a lead in Relic so quick. Yeah. It's oof, it's rough, but I don't know. Maybe there's something we can do. We're going to have to start getting desperate. <laughs> so I go back up here. Two left over. Okay. And I get the secrets back. And I'm done. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Rearrange this right here. Um, well, I'll just go ahead and uh, spend a supply, burn a secret, and take one relic. So that's that's, that's the start. <laughs> and it is the truthful harp. Oh, I can well. draw two more cards. Eh. Must reveal them. Yeah, that one's a bit better early game, but I think we should. You should still be able to get some use out of it. Let's start drawing from the the world deck. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna spend three supply to draw from the world deck. All right, and I'd say just draw three first because you might hit a vision, and then if you want to keep going for the extra two after that, you can reveal them. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you can keep those to yourself. Oh, and that means so, that's so we got our vision. Yeah. So now visions are up for grabs. Mine's not very useful. <laughs> yep. But oh well. Why are you gonna take that uh people's favor? I mean I could technically <laughs> campaign against it still. Yeah? Should I start cloning blue dice? <laughs> do, 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 you, do you wait on that I'll let you know yeah oh boy I am fully at a loss here uh, I think what I have to do is play oh god but there's no i was gonna play an order card but boy the favor banks are not in our favor mm -mm. um in that case i'm gonna hold on to the vision okay well you have to because put it of gossip you though. have to play it face yep. up oh um yeah sure i'll reveal it it's a uh, vision of conquest conquest which currently i'm fulfilling actually Hmm. But it would not be that hard to take away from me, honestly. And I have one supply, no way to muster. I'm assuming that third vision is in the giant stack in the hinterland there, probably? Yeah, somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think that's just going to be my turn. I'm out of actions. Out of relevant actions, anyway. Oh boy, okay. What to do? I suppose... Uh, that's not very helpful. Ah... Uh... 
guess I'll check the cradle. Two. Um. Oh. That could be interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to play Forced Labor. So now anyone in my site cannot search. Any any site ruled by me cannot search. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting one. Unless they pay you. Unless they right? pay me, basically. Yeah. Which should be good. Um then I'm going to No. No, no, no. I'm going to yeah, there's not a lot I can do with those, so I'm just gonna. Uh, whoops. Come on. Trade. Ah, with Roving Terror. Is gonna get me the same amount, regardless of where I trade. And then. Oh, Forced Labor's ruler is the Chancellor. Or, oh, yep. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It is. Shoot. Even actually, better. Maybe I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. I'm going to be moving away anyways. So I'm going to move down to the lush coast. And I'm going to muster twice, once on each of those. That gets me four. And there they are. And then we clean up. All right, okay. Chancellor, roll that die. All right, this might be end of game. Where are you going? Where are All you going? Right. I really hope it's not. Let me get a really close to Captain Badger because uh, <laughs> he, he earned this if he gets it. Three. Oof. Round. <laughs> round. Uh. I nope, moved it. Around yeah, it goes. Yep. All right. Um, I'm getting sick and tired of these uh, shenanigans <laughs> going on in my world. Uh, so I'm going to put a uh, favor and armed mob here, moving my supply one to muster. Let me get two war bands here. Okay. Then I'm going to use two supply to go up to the standing stones. Uh, first, I'm going to send over my charming friend and be like, hey, buddy, what's happening? Uh, I think you need to give me some money. Give me some money. There we go. And uh, I'm going to campaign. Um, and I would, uh, real quick, on the... Um, do I need to put the warbands on my board first? Because I'm going to be using uh, Well, these. you got to put you have to leave one. one You there. have to leave one. And uh, would you get that as defense? No. That's my question. That's up to you. It's, it's still yours. I think. Oh, yeah. well, then. Uh, let, me, let me double check the rules for. I'm pretty sure you can just keep them there and attack with them because they're for, yours. Uh, yeah, I just I wanted to move them in case you could use them as defense. But if, if that's not the case, yeah. then I'm just no, going to straight I'm going uh, to check the rules on Empire on Empire Violence real quick. Empire Violence. <laughs> Isn't it true, though, that you can't. Uh... Have war bands like yes, off the, your board the count citizen for is not attack an Imperial player during this campaign. Oh yeah, you might have to take them. Yeah, if you want the extra attack die, they have to be on your board. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is. All right. Well then, I have to leave one, so I'll take the others off. All right. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, I... but how does that work? Because I have to attack standing stones, right? No, because you rule it. No, he doesn't rule, rule it. it. You okay, have I to, you had have to, a, I, he I don't a, count as an empire player when you're attacking me. Yeah. Yeah, I just I thought it said you ha always have to attack the site. No, no, you only have to attack you have to attack something at the if site. They so if there's a pawn okay. and anything that that pawn has, you can target that. And if they Got rule it. the site, you must also target the site, but because he doesn't, you don't have to target the site. But I roll that side. <laughs> All right. So, All what, right. Are, what specifically are you targeting? Are you targeting the pawn to banish? No, I'm targeting the people's favor. I'm going for it. You're going for the people's favor. Oh boy. Okay. So yeah, Goodness. that is that is nine dice. 
nine yep. blue dice, and then uh, yeah, you can add any battle plans you like. Oh, I'm definitely adding battle plans. So presumably fire talkers. Yeah, can I use that? Ooh. And that would get you eleven. Huh. And uh, I was going for twelve, but whatever. Yeah, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Nine blue dice for you. I can't clone any red dice. Oh, yep. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, How do, many do, do you need? And yeah, gonna use fire talkers. I need eleven. Okay, so just one more. Uh, whoop, come on, let me clone it. Why won't it let me clone? Come on. I am the host. Let me clone. There we go. All right. All right. Everybody okay, my it? citizen. Oh you definitely got a little too big for your britches. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. Oh, oh boy. Oh, That is no. way too many. Uh, that's <laughs> oh, it. That's done. Eight, oh. 8, 16, oh. 32, 64. Ooh, you cannot ow. beat that. And you lose, you lose to your guys and then half of whatever's left. That seems that seems like a big roll. <laughs> oh, oh my I don't god! Think, I don't think that I've is, that is ridiculous. Yeah, that's I got four, eight, five, six, three, six, four, six, one, two. Four. I got only a nine. Four, five, one, two. Uh, five. Oh, five one, times two, three. that. So five yeah, that's times, ten, twenty, six, eight, forty, forty, eighty. You rolled two, an eighty. Four, six, eight times two times four times six times eight. Right. Oh. Um, that's uh, yes. my turn. Hope you, you know, had fun. It's five. It's five times five two. Times ten, two is ten. Times two twenty. Times 20, two forty. Eight, times two eighty. 40. It's forty. Eighty, and and then two more for the war bands. <laughs> yes. So eighty-two. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. Yeah. I wonder but if it would have been better yeah. to like exile him. That's five times eight. I so think XLE be... would have been a lot better because he would have only had two dice. <laughs> oh well, that's that's the risk he, you took. He can't. He couldn't. He couldn't afford to exile me because he has to pay. How much would that cost? Yeah, five, oh, five, uh, yeah. five, six favor. I think five for the five for the banner, um, and then one. It says, the... let's see. It's on the back of the scepter. It's on the back of this. Yeah, I couldn't. Okay. I couldn't get enough money. Yeah, for five. It. Five and then plus yeah. one for the banner, so it would be six. I was going to exile him, but the way the economy is set up right now, I don't think I could get enough money uh, no, in time. No, actually, it's only plus one for the people's favor. Favor. Which, wait, yep, yeah, you do have that. I yeah, forgot. Which, yeah. Somehow. But they cancel each other out, so it'd still be five. Five. Yeah, because you have both people. Yeah, because you have the. Which is still a hefty order. Next turn, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Man, my headphones are dying. I'm starting to get a buzz on louder noises. That sucks. Well, I tried. Right. So, let me see here. I can't trade without paying you. First of all, I have to feed the people's favor, though. Yes. Twice. And they're hungry. Or like once, and then it, you can remove that one. Or just take a couple off, you know? This wouldn't be too bad. Still have, you know, seven on it. It's not, I don't think there's that much money left in the world. Is there one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Seven, eight. Nine. No, okay. no one specific player can get get it. I don't think not easily. So if I add one and then take one back, it goes to the least. It goes to whichever has the least, and if it's two of them, as it is now, you get to choose between those. <laughs> yes. Mm. So I will add one, and then I will take one off and put it in the beast. Okay. I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. Um,
Um, oh, I mean, honestly, you should probably just bolster the Chancellor any way you can, because as long as he can stay Oath Keeper, right. pretty much nobody's taking the people's favor from you, so. I can't really do much to bolster him, though, because... I know, you can clear he, out just, the autonomy oh, relics, so you and I can't to feed the people's favor yeah. with Alchemist. Okay, if I... Oh, and the, I was thinking I couldn't trade because I couldn't pay him, but that card is gone. He's just got forced labor, which is searching, right? So yeah. I can trade. Yeah. And regardless, you're not his enemy anymore. It's only during the campaign right. that you're considered right. an enemy. So I will. Uh, I need to make myself safe somehow. Which... I am going to step away for a moment. I'll be right back. I don't know what to do. Um, I will trade with Magician's Code and I can just get the one. That's fine. And then I will Trade again with Fire Talkers for two, two secrets. I'll use the alchemist, burn a secret, use a secret, and I will get four, take two from Discord, and two from Hearth. Oh my god. I am Have back. Mercy. Oh, you did do alchemist. Oh no. The yes, economy. I, I have three. It's in shambles. Oh, the Oath Wall Street is burning. Then I will spend. Oh my god, that leaves two favor in the banks. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Spend. Where do I? Go. I will spend two supply and flip my secret to go to the hidden place. Okay. We do that. Yep. 
Then Seems like I am going choice. to I am going to spend two more to search this deck. Okay. I will use my people's favor ability to get rid of Longbow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. And <laughs> I will pay a play. <laughs> Faithful friend there. Oh, what? The infinite turn. One, well, hold on. You can three, only discard a card if you're going to replace four. it with the one you're playing. You don't just get to discard. You can discard a denizen card at any site in your region, and then you may play to any site in your region. region. Yep. Okay. Seems a little loosey goosey to me, but sure. Do you even really need that uh, supply? Like, you. <laughs> you've yeah, why so not? much on your turn already. <laughs> Um, so I took the I took one from the nomad for placing that there. Ah, fine. Um, really protecting any chance of someone getting an economic victory over you. Uh, um, this is brutalist tactics. I will spend two supply to search this again. And remember, you can't play Beast. Play. I do have that Ruined Temple, so you cannot yes. play Beast. You could get rid of Gossip. Yeah. I mean, it was your idea, so I doubt you want to, but... Yes, I do want to. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that, which means I can play something face down, which I will do. A vision? What are you going to do with a vision? I'm going to not give it to anyone else is what I'm going to do. Well, mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I'll spend two more supply to... <laughs> Do this again. I'll play that one face up there. Okay. And then I will Then I will end my turn so I go up to here plus the one I had left over. Go to arcane. Comes back to me. This flips over. And I'm done. Okay, yellow, oh I'm gonna okay. tell you. I'm the only person ahead of you stopping you from winning with the conquest vision, and I only have two sites I, I have two sites that have a single warband on it. And Yeah, I've been thinking about that a so lot. So honestly, I I would not 
hold it against you if you campaigned against me for the hidden place and or the mountain. And now that there is something that you can muster on, you could do a pretty decent job at that. You know, it was my thought exactly. And I mean, um, I'll just use Traveling Doctor to protect myself from losing any troops off it, so. Yeah. So I'm going to muster for two. Um, and it's pretty risky targeting both here, uh, especially since I would lose one attack die on Mountain. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, I say go for the um, place. You only need the one over me. Yeah, and so I'll flip down my secret for that and spend two supply. Uh, targeting uh, the hidden no, no, place. He, ju he just put the favor. Oh, he did. Mad. Yeah, I just oh, mustered. I just I'm mustered. Sorry. I thought that was last turn. All right, so you flip that. Nope. Uh, I'm going to use Traveling Doctors so that when I am defeated, I won't lose any war bands. Uh, I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense for me to use all my war bands here. Yeah, totally. So I'll roll the one. You roll the three. I'm presuming you're activating Military Parade. So uh, yeah, and Book Burning would have no effect on you, I believe. So No, I only have the one. Um, and yeah. then yeah, you'll get an arcane favor, presuming, presuming you can roll somewhat better than me. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So I got one. You got three. Perfect. Ideal roll for you. So I lose. Uh, I don't you lose just anybody back to war because I'm, I use traveling yeah. doctor. There. So I just get my guy back. That just gets discarded out to. Uh, where am I at? I'm in the Lush Coast, so I'd go to the provinces. And... I get a favor from Arcane. Yep, you get a favor from Arcane, and you can drop whatever you like on the hidden place. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to put all three. I think it's much Probably more important to keep holding it. All right, yeah. and if you can hang on to, to those until the beginning of your next turn, you will win. Presuming they don't win by the Oathkeeper roll at the end of this turn round whatever um yeah and so with that i am going to search here the discard not going to activate my relic i don't think Uh, you can definitely tell in the late game why some of these are getting discarded. Just not yeah. useful. And we're allowed to play them face down, right? Uh, yeah. Because er... gossipers are... Yeah, now the gossip is gone. Um... Yeah, in that case, I will just... Play this face down. Um, now that I do rule the hidden place, though, I will flip up my small friends. Hey, nice. Oh, yeah, and that means you can mm -hmm. trade with any uh, beast card, including Roving Terror, up in the Salt Flats. Um, let's see. Yeah, I had I had a game where I had small friends and alchemist. Oh, really? And Old Oak was out there and Roving Terror, so I was able to trade with Roving Terror, Old Oak, use Alchemist. Get it, it was just an awesome economic engine, but it ended up doing nothing for me to win. <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. I think that's uh well, that's like I just have to discard these cards back to the cradle. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to call it there. Hopefully we get around to the start of my turn. Yes. Uh, All right. And yeah, faithful friend's favor will go back to Nomad. It is my turn. I am going to start digging through that supply, y'all. The, 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 the discard that y'all have built up here. See if anything's decent. 
Hmm. Not really. Uh. Guess I'll hang on to this. Yep. Yeah. Discard that out to the provinces. And we'll do that again. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just play Great Herd to get a favor. And I'm not going to bother using its ability, because that wouldn't really help me at all. Oh, 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 come on. Grab. Grab them. There we go. And I am going to muster on Great Herd. So I go back up to 8-4. Great Herd's favor goes to Nomad. And that is my turn. Roll that purple die. All right. Here we go. All right, right. This is for you, Badger. Yep. Five. Ooh, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> winner, winner. Yep. Blue wins. Blue wins. Good job. My citizen. Blue wins. <clears throat> wow. Between wins. between nine on the people's favor and a roll of eighty-two. Oh. Sorry, I hit. I flicked something and it knocked a bunch of stuff over. I'm just rewinding time real quick. It's gonna load okay. back in. Oh no, was that enough? I don't uh, know if I think far enough. so. I think, I think that's, yes, I think that's all, all it's set. on five. Yeah. Yep. yeah, looks good. Uh, no, that wasn't. I oh. something else was knocked off the board. Hold on, just gonna rewind it once more. There was a, a, a loose yellow warband. Yeah, there, there's a loose one over here. Uh, nope, that's not it. Yeah, no. Come on, keep going. I'll get there eventually. Man, this rewind time does not go very far back. Thought this was the whole No, it's only like ten seconds at a time. It was less than ten seconds before I did it that it popped up. Come on. Oh. I think the tell right now is if my warbands are on the planes. Because yes. currently they're not. And there's that white one that's just flopped over. Okay, now they are. There they are. There it is. Yep. Okay. I should not have done that. Here, I'll do it from a distance. Blue wins. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, the reason I grabbed and held this was that. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I was the one who drew yeah. it from the uh, from the yeah. world deck, but I didn't have much use yeah, for it. And I was time. I was relatively safe because of the alchemist situation, but why why screw around with it? Exactly. Get it and hold on to it. Yep. Oh boy! So that's an empire win through a succession. Um, let's make sure nothing is just floating around. All right, and now I will save it for uh, safety because sometimes it decides to just glitch out. So, <coughs> the castle is in the sky. Games. Yeah, good job, Captain Badger, because I was trying to gain money to just knock you out of my kingdom. Yes, to I, exile. Yes. Yeah, I just couldn't get enough. You just like you just conquered the entire banking economy the whole financial system yeah that ended up being kind of miserable for me but that's i'm not gonna blame you for that necessarily that was definitely very masterful play i yeah. i wish i'd had more to do but yeah these are two of the best cards in the game like two of yes. the best cards yeah yeah definitely all right well let's... and then i had the then there was a great place to trade too, which yeah, uh, true, you know, true. All right, let's declare the winner. It's blue. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, your relics go. Yes, in. I do have a relic. You it? You got? It. He's got it. Okay. Yeah. You won by succession. Yes. All right. What oath do you want for next game? Hmm. Presumably the people, since that was the main crux of your win. 
Yeah. I will go with I will go with uh devotion actually. Devotion. Okay. Yep. All right, and do you want to repair an edifice? Um build build or repair. Which one is the the uh, arcane? The arcane. I, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't think we play with that one. Hold oh, on. that's the one that that's the one that. Um... Hold on, let me see. Is that the one? Yeah, that's oh, the one. That's that... the dispossessed yeah, one. We don't want that. We no. That. Um. And we had the. We had the beast thing. We had, um, so it'd be the sprawling ramparts or the uh, forest temple. Yeah, do the do the rampart. Okay. Confirmed. Yeah. And you can only add arcane in this case because that's all you had. For uh, yeah. Confirmed. All right, and everything worked out. Export the chronicle. I'll I'll save that and put it in there after I end stream here. Castles in the sky game six. All right, that is saved. All right, good game, everybody. Thanks for playing, everybody. Yeah, thanks. it was kind of it was kind of goofy with that that economy situation that I had, but hey, when you got it, you got to run with it, right? That is yeah. Fair. Yeah, I don't. It, I I was wondering if you were going to exile me early, early, but I should have. I was thinking really about it. Have, yeah. But you 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 don't you don't want to give away that much money though, too early either, or it that can come back to bite you. You know, yeah. because you had you had a you had a good pile of money, but it was still at the point where you were going to have to give at least four, and I think five at you know. I didn't grab the I didn't grab the favor until I had to, but mm -hmm. which, yeah, you were... was be, which was mostly because of the mob, the mob thing. I didn't want it too early because then you're you had so much though, like you the mob was no problem for you. <laughs> no, but I didn't. I could have. I was always in a position where I was going to be able to take it from somebody. So. That's true. Yeah, just, you didn't have to. Pay your I cards. just didn't want to. I didn't want to grab it until I had to. So because then, then my money's tied up. So that's true. Yeah. I do like how it uh, all all pulls together like that, where you don't. Um, everything that you do, it's like you can get into a strong position with it, but then it's always going to weaken you just doing the thing. Like campaigns will always weaken you some amount. Getting the banners will always weaken you some amount, so that it always kind of self balances. And thing you do in that regard, you're putting a target on your back. Yeah. You're another. So. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, right. I, well, good game, everybody. Everybody yeah. knew where was I was great. going. I got it out, but, but it was great yep. to play with you guys. Yeah. Good game. Yep. Thanks for joining. Thanks for being on the Thank stream. Thank you, guys. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Yep. Okay. That's everything with those guys. That was a pretty fun game. I was kind of low energy because I was losing, and I'm I'm just kind of low energy right now. It's Saturday, and I'm doing a lot of work and stuff uh, still after this. But thank you very much for watching, whether it is in the past, the present, or the future. If, uh, if you want to catch the beginning of this stream or any other streams where we played Oath or anything like that, you can check down... Uh, you can check the past broadcast tab. It has the last 60 days worth of streams. Or you can check Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which is linked down below on the browser version. That has all of the streams I've done up to almost a year ago when I started. Uh, in a couple weeks, I'm going to be doing my anniversary stream, which should be pretty fun. Um, if you want to catch any future streams, check uh, down below for the schedule, which shows what game on what day. And if you want the actual specific time... Click the line over there, go to the schedule tab, will say what hour and what game on what day. That's all subject to change, though, so if you want to be sure you don't miss any streams, follow me on Twitter, 
at Iggy D Kid and turn on notifications. I tweet out half an hour before I go live. Um, sometimes that doesn't work though, so follow it, which is free for you, and it will get you a notification with the app or through email or however you like it, and it would help out the stream a great deal. And if you really like the stream, please consider subscribing. Uh, you would be the first subscriber. I've only been affiliate for a little bit, but it costs you a little bit, but I would really appreciate it. It help out the stream a great deal. It would mostly just go towards better equipment for the stream. I'm saving up for a better computer for the stream, so I don't have to worry about stuff. So I'd really appreciate it if you consider that. And we have custom emotes now that you can get if you subscribe at the different stuff. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account to get Twitch Prime, which gives you one free subscription each month that you could put towards that. And again, I'd really appreciate you considering that. Once again, I'd like to thank you for inviting me at your home, your computer, your tablet, your laptop, your phone, your gaming console, your Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch today. I really appreciate you coming. Uh, I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you will join me tomorrow for my uh, drop mix set, and I might do a small game. Uh, I'm getting a webcam so that I can do more in-person stuff, some some physical tabletop stuff sometime soon. I might wait until next week, but I'm definitely doing my drop mix set tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, so come check that out. It's a fun little DJ thing. Do it. It's pretty short. It was like a half hour the last one I did, so come check it out. And, hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm gonna raid you over, but that's it for me, so goodbye. Goodbye. I'm gonna raid you over. Just stay there for one sec. I gotta see who's online. Hold on. Who's streaming? Who's streaming? It's... It's... Come on, open up. Uh, Pink Room Gaming. Okay. Uh, is it gaming or games? I want to make sure I spell it right. Ah. I think it's gaming. Hopefully I get that right. Okay, I'm going to raid you all over to there. So slash raid. Pink Room Gaming. I think I did that right. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Go over there. Enjoy that. Tell them I sent you. Have a great weekend, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.